I'm remembering um, the first time that I met Srila Narayan Maharaj was in the early 1980s. Um, I went to the Keshav Gaudiya Math. My special purpose at that time was to see the place where my beloved Guru Maharaj took sannyas in 1959. I had heard many times the recording of Srila Prabhupada um, speaking with such emotion and love toward his god brother Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj. Srila Prabhupada on the occasion of the disappearance of Keshav Maharaj, he said he has gone back to the spiritual world to be with Krishna. And Srila Prabhupada, he was crying. He called Keshav Maharaj an ocean of mercy, Kripam Bhutir. And he he declared that on behalf of his Guru Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada, Keshav Maharaj pulled him from material life, Prabhupada said, and gave him sannyas and sent him to the Western world. So while I was in the temple room where that historical pastime took place, meditating, praying, um, One brahmachari came in and brought me to the private quarters of um, Srila Narayan Maharaj. And at that first meeting, it was just the two of us. He, he exhibited such a compassionate, kind nature. Although I was so insignificant um, and so junior to him in every way, he gave so much respect. And I could understand, and he told me himself, that because of his love for my Guru Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada, because I was Srila Prabhupada's follower, um, he was giving me so much honor and respect. Um, that moved my heart forever. And over the years, we met many, many times. Um, he came to our temple in Mumbai, Chopati, Radha Gopinath Mandir, and and gave several classes to our devotees. Um, I would meet him in his room at Keshav Gaudiyamat, at Devananda Gaudiyamat, in Navadweep, in Sri Rup Sanatan Gaudiyamat, in Brindaban, sometimes in various places in the Western world. A at this moment, I'm remembering a beautiful experience. It was Kartik, I believe 1993. And Srila Narayan Maharaj was leading a very large parikrama of devotees. Mostly they were devotees of Indian origin, but there were also a growing number of Western people coming, Vaishnavas also. And we met, and I believe it was at the Keshav Gaudiyamat in Mathura. And he invited me to, to ride with him in a car to go to their destination that day which was Sri Ramkat, which was quite far away. Um, 
it actually took a couple hours to reach there. Um, for those of you who have been to Sri Ramkot, it's way, way up on the banks of Yamuna River. And to reach there, in those days, there were most of the way there were no roads. We were just driving through fields and on earthen pathways and on the banks of the Yamuna River. In the car, I believe it was an ambassador, um, um, His Holiness Madhava Maharaj, who was then a brahmachari, was sitting in the front seat with the driver. And um, Srila Narayan Maharaj and myself were sitting on the small back seat. Um, the car, which had very poor suspension, it wasn't even on a road, it was just in fields, was going up and down and bouncing and bouncing. And all around us, there was so much of the sacred dust of Sri Braj Bhumi just filling the air. Um, but we were inside and it was most beautiful experience. We were, that little back seat was truly um, a revelation of Brindavan to me that I'll never forget. He was discussing me various leelas um, as we were passing different places. And he was He was asking about my life. He was talking about his life. And then he would see something else and tell another pastime of Krishna and Sri Radha. And in this way, we spent hours. And I remember Madhava Maharaj in the front seat was smiling so, so jubilantly <laughs> just to hear um, hear us talking and although I felt so small compared to his enormous devotion he treated me with such kindness with so much encouragement and I remember from time to time as we were talking together he would reach over and hold my hand for probably a third of the drive, we were holding hands. And I was meditating on this verse, Vancha Kalpa Tarupya Shakri Pa Sindupya Evacha Patita Nam Pa Bani Bio Vaishnava Bio I was meditating on how this is how Srila Prabhupada described Keshav Maharaj and how I was feeling that kindness through his beloved disciple, Srila Narayan Maharaj. Um, he invited me to join him several times in various places for his parikramas of Sri Vrindavan Dham. And Whenever we met, regardless of the circumstances, it was always so sweet and filled with the experience that I read about in Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. I'm remembering another time it was in the Western world where there was an ISKCON festival with leaders of ISKCON. Just down the road from a festival um, of Srila Narayan Maharaj and about a hundred followers. 
and this was a this was at a time after this inconceivable tension was created between the two um, families and because of that tension things were said on both sides things were done on both sides and it's very sad but in many ways it's inevitable in this in this world so I went to visit Srila Narayan Maharaj and when I came to the house he was staying um, many of the leading devotees were very suspicious of me they were quite neglectful toward me which I happily accepted and deserved um, and they had their doubts whether I should go in to see Narayan Maharaj. So I said, please ask him. So they did, and he invited me into his room. And when we met, it was just that reunion of love, respect, and affection between a senior and a junior and a senior who had such humility he was he was treating his junior like an equal and for perhaps a half hour we just exchanged affection and it was beautiful and i gave him some gifts and he gave me gifts and when I left his room, I was thinking of the nature of unity and diversity. The very basis of true Vaishnav etiquette is love. The idea of love is not just a sentimental thing. It's the ultimate goal of life. It's the singular thing that we as Vaishnavas are aspiring for. And Bhakti Yoga is the path to Prem. It's in how we express our love that Krishna reveals his love. Mad Bhakta Puja and Krishna accepts our love, especially through how we love his devotees. And as I was walking out of his room that day, I was thinking like this, that whatever the energies around us are creating, there may be confusions, there may be disruptions, there may be conflict, there may be misunderstandings, there may be apparats in the air. But the simplicity of the love and the affection between devotees is sacred. It is beyond all these things. And in the many times since then that I had the wonderful fortune of meeting with Srila Narayan Maharaj, sometimes at Rupsanath and Gaudi Amath, various places, that was always the spirit. At one time, you know, things were being said between the camps, and I, and I, um, and I came to meet him, and he considered to me, me to be a, a representative of Iskon, and um, in a in a very fatherly way, he chastised me, <laughs> and um, I said, Maharaj, I just. 
I didn't come as a representative of anyone. I just came as somebody who loves you and, and wants to wants your association, not, nothing else. And um, and he continued to chastise me as if I was like the um, personification of the GBC or something like that. And um, and I sat and I listened and. You know, I've given my heart and my life to the mission of Srila Prabhupada um, in the form of ISKCON. And, and he knew that. And he appreciated that. And after he chastised me, he just treated me with the same love and kindness and respect that was just beyond all these other things. Um, and I, I'm speaking this today because these types of experiences have, has very much made me um, who I am in, in the way I, I try to, to rise above to whatever extent I can whatever differences we have, because differences there will be. And where, where is that place beyond it all? It's the love, the respect, the affection, and the kindness that we're meant to share with one another. In Brindaban, there are conflicting camps between various um, wings of gopis. <laughs> but it's, it's all based ultimately on love. How to remain faithful to the mission we've given our hearts to, faithful to the divine grace of the Guru that has, that has saved us, and at the same time, recognize, appreciate, and love the experience that other devotees and other missions are having with one another. Not to convert, but to encourage, to inspire, to enliven. And that is the experience that I personally always had with Srila Narayan Maharaj. He was totally absorbed, always, in the loving service of Sri Sri Radha Gopinath. And his life was to share it with us through his lectures through his writings, through his parikramas, through his kindness. And today, through the hearts of those who love him for each other, on this very auspicious day, um, my heart is with all of you to celebrate the centennial anniversary of the appearance of Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj. Thank you for this opportunity to speak some words. Vanchakal Patarubhyas Cha Kripa Sindhubhya Ebucha Patitanam Pabhanibhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha